I am Atlas. I have been called the sword and the shield of the Western world, and the workhorse of the space age, and even the old queen. I am these and more. I am indispensable. My experience is equal to none in all of rocketry. I put the first human voice into space in 1958, and people heard it everywhere. American man into orbit of the earth in 1962 and people knew it everywhere knowledge begets knowledge progress never stops we're now on the verge of a new era I feel in that new era I became the springboard into space there were 381 flights and 24 different missions sent our first hard landing probe to the moon, and the first interplanetary probe past Venus. I put three more men into orbit, one at a time, and every shot was perfect. That earned me the title Man Rated Atlas. They had entrusted life itself to my reliability. When the time came to go farther, I was not alone. Centaur came alive. Together we lifted the probes that would send back the first close-up pictures of Mars and the Moon. We placed orbiting astronomical observatories above Earth's atmosphere for the first undistorted views of the universe. we put applications technology satellites into Earth orbit. Their missions were to prove out concepts and equipment for spacecraft of the future. We shouldered America's first big bid for the moon, an unmanned lander that would not be seen again except by the humans who would fly there. Like every one of our payloads, Surveyor arrived exactly where its makers wanted it to. We made that possible. We are Atlas and Centaur. Our names are synonymous with safety, economy, and reliability. We have been a part of many orbital missions, and every unmanned lunar and planetary mission the United States has launched. In the 70s, we'll put more astronomical observatories above Earth. We'll send interplanetary spacecraft to Venus, Mercury, and Mars. We'll send the first American spacecraft to Jupiter. And we will help Intelsat link the continents together. <laughs> 